Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Arlette Youssef. We begin with top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A new program with drones. That's what Las Vegas Metro Police discussed at a briefing today. Review-Journal's Lena Bleitz was there. To help save lives, both of officers and civilians, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department has a new program to use drones more frequently in a variety of situations. On Thursday, the department demonstrated two of its drones outside Metro headquarters and gave examples of scenarios where the drones could be utilized, from aerial surveillance of a complex scene, helping with a SWAT situation, assisting search and rescue missions, and enhancing public safety at large events. Metro says the drones will not be equipped with weapons and will solely be used for video purposes. We've noticed that the public wants us to be more advanced. They want us to have more tools, more options to be able to provide a safer solution to policing operations. Two hours Wednesday night went without 911 service, and today we know why. An official with the company that operates the fiber line says workers installing a light pole in Missouri cut into a fiber line, knocking out 911 service for emergency agencies in three states. Las Vegas Metro Police 911 Communications warned the community Wednesday night about the outage affecting emergency and non-emergency calls on social media. The post explained, quote, dial on a mobile device and we will be able to see your number and we'll call you back right away. A DUI suspect reportedly crashed her car into a bus stop Wednesday night, killing two pedestrians and leaving three others with serious to life-threatening injuries. Police say 64-year-old Cynthia Phelps was heading north on the southbound lanes of Boulder Highway when she veered off-road and hit the pedestrians waiting at the bus stop. Phelps was booked on five felony counts. Enough is enough. That's what was heard at a rally on Wednesday held by the National Association of Letter Carriers. The union gathered in downtown Las Vegas to demand an end to assaults and robberies while drivers are on the job. About 60 carriers held signs outside the Lloyd D. George Courthouse as the number of attacks against carriers continues to rise. According to the U.S. Postal Service, in 2023, robberies of letter carriers in the country rose to 643. That's nearly a 30 percent increase from the previous year. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloom and thing. After some gloom today, we've got mostly clear skies tonight. Temps still in the mid to low 80s for a couple more hours before cooling down to the 70s. Friday will be partly cloudy with temps in the high 80s during the day and low 60s at night. Saturday and Sunday will be in the mid to low 90s and mostly sunny. Evening lows in the mid to high 60s. Winds over the weekend will be fairly calm though you may feel a little breeze. We'll start off the work week in the mid 90s and beautiful sunshine. In business news, an industrial park under construction in North Las Vegas is expected to be complete in the spring of 2025, and it's drawing some major clients. Two companies have signed leases at the Windsor Commerce Park, which is under construction in North Las Vegas. One is a major HVAC company, another is an e-commerce company. They have signed on to this under construction park since it of its proximity to the North Las Vegas airport, as well as many highways, and is another sign of Las Vegas' strong industrial market. A Mesquite Casino is planning a $100 million renovation and expansion project that it hopes will bring the property into its newest era. Eureka Casino Resort announced work has begun on the first phase of the revitalization. The work will extend from the exterior of the property and casino floor to hotel rooms and restaurant spaces. The first phase of renovations are expected to be unveiled this summer. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Aces forward and two-time WNBA MVP Asia Wilson made Time's list of the top 100 most influential people. Aces minority owner Tom Brady wrote an essay about Asia in the entry stating, Asia Wilson is not just a champion, she's a symbol of resilience, compassion, and unwavering dedication. Wilson won two championships with the Aces and one with South Carolina where they added a statue of her to commemorate her collegiate career. She also has a charity to support children and families with dyslexia and is an advocate against bullying. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. 
The second annual soiree took flight to raise funds for a very important cause. The sold-out event brought old Hollywood glamour to life and featured a unique opportunity for guests to get away on a private jet for a luxury weekend in Beverly Hills. All the proceeds go back to the local nonprofit Miracle Flights. Its mission is to provide free commercial airfare to sick children and their families. Brace funds help fly sick children to distant medical care. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NBA play-in tournament will conclude Friday with two games. The Sacramento Kings are one-and-a-half-point road favorites at the Westgate Superbook over the New Orleans Pelicans, and the total is 212. The Miami Heat are one-and-a-half-point home favorites over the Chicago Bulls, and the total is 207. In other playoff series, the Denver Nuggets are minus 350 series favorites over the LA Lakers, and the Philadelphia 76ers and New York Knicks are each minus 110 in their series. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. A popular cactus found on t-shirts and souvenir shops in Las Vegas is actually not found in Las Vegas and not even grown in Southern Nevada. The Cigarro cactus is actually found in Phoenix. The main reason the desert plant is not found in our backyards is that the weather is too dry and too cold for them. The Sonoran Desert is the only place in the world that this plant grows. The desert extends from southern Arizona to Baja California, Mexico, and the eastern edge of California. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Fountain Blue opened five months ago and already has one of the most compelling new restaurants in the city. Q, a plant-based Asian wood-fire barbecue restaurant, is known for its cauliflower. Chef Christopher Ariana said he was most excited about bringing smoke, fire, and Asian influences to plant-based cooking. Passover celebrates the deliverance of the Israelites from bondage in Egypt. To mark the holiday, we found five places in Las Vegas offering Passover food. The Bagel Cafe features matzo ball soup, whole roast chicken, and more. Honey Salt is celebrating with specials like popovers and honey butter. To see the full list, visit LVRJ.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. Search Review Journal on your favorite platform to stay up to date all the time. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7 in the morning and night. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.